from Wells River. I'm not a member of the Lions Club, uh, but I'm invited up here every year for the last 25 or more years to announce this parade and show. And I'm always pleased to be here in Littleton. Great little small town, small city maybe, big town, small city. Wonderful place to be. Uh, let's see, today uh, the cows will be greeted out on the middle of Main Street by the, this year's King Lion, Kevin Clark. Our chairperson for the show is Doug Cross up here on my right. One of the things we'll be looking for is a couple of the uh, Ray Burton automobiles, uh, and we'll have Miss Littleton, Brittany Sulham, riding in one of, those, one of them. Also pleased to have uh, radio stations here, WKHS and uh, 103 The Notch. Pleased to have them up here beside our reviewing stand, uh, broadcasting live uh, all of today's events. Uh, Bob O'Connor around over there with the camera on the tripod uh, recording the parade today. Bob has been here for about as many years as I have, I think. So has Doug, so has some of these guys. Now, okay, this is the parade, the kickoff for the uh, 33rd fall foliage meet. After the parade, these cars will take a scenic tour this afternoon up through the White Mountains. Tomorrow, they'll all assemble at Sears Field uh, about 9 or 10 a.m. for the formal show and judging. Okay, the Lions Club has a pancake breakfast down there at Sears Field behind the Sears store uh, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. You have pancake breakfast under the tent, sort of like, like out in the open air. You'll really enjoy it. You can get there, spend the whole day there for a three dollar donation. Where can you go see a million dollars worth of cars and a nice show for three dollars? And children under 12 are free. Okay, they'll also be having a 50-50 raffle. They have the Lions food trailer down there serving food all day, and we'll have some flea market vendors also. So we hope you all come down tomorrow, support your local Lions Club, and see a great show. About uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, we award the uh, trophies for the winners in a colorful ceremony where we have the winning cars drive up in front of the uh, registration tent to receive their awards. Now, you'll see quite a few of those cars in today's parade. We'll probably have, it goes according to tradition, we'll have twice as many cars in the show tomorrow as what you see here in the parade. You'll get a chance to talk to the owners, look at the cars, look under the hood, peek in the windows, and uh, get a good feel of the show. So we'd like to welcome you to come down to the show tomorrow at Sears Field, just behind the Sears store. And we'll be giving trophies in about oh, 25 classes, including people's choice. You can vote for your best car, your private car. King Lions Award, oldest truck and oldest car. Okay, the cars are getting closer. Kevin will greet them. You gonna hand me these? Or? Yep. Okay. That's crazy. Yep, Kevin will greet them right there in front of the, uh, your famous Thayer's Inn and send them down to me one by one and I can tell you who, what the cars are and who's driving them. Let me tell you why they're uh, approaching. The first car is a former Ray Burton car, as is the second car in the parade. This is a Ray Burton 75 Olds, a tribute to Ray, uh, driven, owned and driven by Steve Green and Concord. Kevin will uh, greet the car and uh, take their number, take their windshield number from them so we can use them again next year. Okay, and riding in the car. Brittany Sulham, Miss Littleton area this year, riding in the car. This is Ray Burton's 75 O's, which you're all familiar with. And we're awfully glad that uh, Steve Green has bought this car and, and has restored it and is working on it to get it right back to its original shape. Really nice. And this is your Miss Littleton area, waving to you now, Brittany Sulham. Next car is a, another one of Ray Burton's favorite cars. This was his 57 DeSoto, owned by Ned Stein from uh, Northfield, New Hampshire. 1957 DeSoto with a Hemi engine. This, who? Bill Clues. 
Bill, Bill, Bill Cruz. Bill Cruz driving this. Uh, this is one of uh, Doug Cross's cars, a Dart GT, and Doug is up here handing me these, no these notes. So, okay, caught that one. And now we got a Model A Ford coming up, 1930 Ford Model A, owned from by Fred Storella from Bethlehem. 1930 Ford Model A two-door sedan. Next car is a 1950 Chevrolet Skyline, owned by Pliny Granger from Littleton. 1950 Chevrolet. And here is a 40 Plymouth Coupe coming up now. We're ready for that one. This is owned by George Calusi from uh, Lisbon. 1940 Plymouth Coupe, and I, I almost think he's got that for sale. Yes, he has, yeah. It'd be a nice car for somebody. Get that number off the car. Next car coming by now is a 1969 Volkswagen Common Gear, very rare these days, owned by Ken Taplin from Blue Hill, Maine, and it's convertible. Pat. Now we have a 66 Mustang from Bernardston, Mass owned by Lionel Gagnon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's a nice car from Conway, New Hampshire. A 1951 Chevrolet Deluxe owned by Roland Dupo from over in Conway. And from my old stomping grounds over in Stowe, here's a 72 Dodge Demon 340 owned by Lloyd Shackett. And now one of those popular 57 Chevrolets, this is a Bel Air, owned by Louis Goulet in Merrimack, New Hampshire. One of the hottest cars on the collector market these days. And this is a 70 Pontiac GTO from Quattacook, Quebec, owned by Christian Gosselin. Glad to have you come down from Canada. Nice to see you. Okay, and next car, the little red convertible, is a 71 Dodge Challenger, owned by Gilbert Levesque, also from Quattacook. Nice cars up there in Quebec. And here's a Littleton car, owned by Vern Davis, 53 Chevy Bel Air, from right here in Littleton. Real neat, very attractive, 53 Chevrolet Bel Air, two-door hardtop. Now check this one out, it's a 76 Pontiac Le Mans, owned by Al Castro, Castro from right here in Littleton. And now a sports car, 1960 MG, MGA owned by Kevin Silva, from right here in Littleton. You got a lot of nice cars here in Littleton. Now here's one more Littleton car, Joseph LaHoot. This is a 1964 Chevy Impala from right here in Littleton, Mr. LaHoot. Okay, thank you very much. And now here's a Dalton car from Dalton, New Hampshire. This 67 Dodge Dart owned by Steve Ordance from over in Dalton. And one of my favorite cars is a 79 Corvette from Lancaster, owned by Ron Mason, right over in Lancaster. Nice Corvette. Now a Pontiac Firebird T-Top, owned by Anthony Meters. Uh, he lives over in St. Johnbury. Real nice bird. Check, check his uh, license plate. It's my bird. And look at this, a 38 Chevy Master Deluxe, customized Monalt and Donna Gamash from Manchester. A nice 38 Chevy custom car. And here's a 62 Chevy Ampala owned by Walter and Claire Grabrowski from Hudson, New Hampshire. Way down in Hudson. Greg, glad you came up. Now we have an 06 Mustang GT owned by Norm and Rita McLeod from Littleton. This next car, 
It's from Morrisville, Vermont. It's a 1966 Dodge Polara owned by Bill and Sharon Rallo. Next car is from really Norfolk, Vermont. I don't know where Norfolk, Vermont is, but it's a 65 Buick Skylark owned by Clyde Gardner. I'll have to ask him where Norfolk is in Vermont. I thought I knew all about Vermont. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next car up from Bethlehem. And this is Dan and Joyce Tucker with their 75 Chevy Vega Custom. And you'll never see another Vega, I'm sure. This is it. <laughs> really, and it's a, such a great little car. They've done a great job preserving that. That's a Vega, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe a lot of you have never seen one. And here we have David Ash with his 74 Plymouth Scamp. Dave is the president of the White Mountain Cruisers Club. We have a lot of members, and Dave uh, uh, plans all our cruises and parties for the White Mountain Cruisers. Here's an interesting vehicle. 57 Dodge Car Wagon. Ed, Richer, Ed Ritchie from Whitefield, New Hampshire. And uh, I'll tell you, you get a, tr a truck like that, you leave it right there. Original condition, wonderful. Now we got a 66 Mustang Bill Simons from Bethlehem. Next car up, 29 Model A motorhome hauler, John Hall from Biddeford. And when he was here last year, he showed the plans for big motor, big motorhome he's gonna pull behind it. Where is it this year? Be ready in the spring. That's what you said last year, but we're looking forward to it anyway. That's quite a little holler. And here's a 31 Ford street rod. Oh yeah, 31 Ford. Rita Hall from Biddeford, Man. Biddeford, Maine. <laughs> nice little Model A uh, street rod. Got a 32 drill on the front, so it might fool you as to its year. Uh, okay, this is a 78 Z28 Camaro. Dick Bergquist from Berlin, New Hampshire. Oh, this nice Camaro. Oh, we have another common Ghia. Two in the spray today. That's great. This is a 1970, owned by Herb Lahoot from Sugar Hill. Common Ghia, the common Ghias are very rare. We've had two in the parade. That's wonderful. Now here's a 71 Plymouth Roadrunner, owned by Bud Stevens from Waterford. And here's John Ellsworth, a regular at our cruise nights. This is his 1968 Buick Riviera. He's from over in Concord, Vermont. Nice to see you, John. And here's another one of my favorite cars. I had a lot of Thunderbirds. This is a 77 Ford T-Bird owned by Mike Benway from Hardwick, Vermont. Nice, nice 77 T-Bird. 76 Spitfire owned by Roger Petit from uh, Littleton. Great day for convertible, huh? And look at this. You want to really look this car over if you come to the show tomorrow. <laughs> a 71 Pontiac, Woody Cabriolet, Jim Leonard from Littleton. Hey, he's done a wonderful job with that. That's really unique. And here's a 79 half-ton C10 Chevy, Dave Schloss from Littleton. Javon? Yeah, Javon. Okay, this is another Doug Cross vehicle. Doug's up here helping me, as you know. Uh, this is his Dodge little red truck. He's the one since new, and uh, it's driven by Javon and... Oh, Marion. Oh, Marion, driven by Marion. Okay, here we go. Oh, Javon's a passenger, right? Okay, got that. Okay, I'm learning as we go. <laughs> Only been doing this 25 years, but someday I'll get it right. Okay, here we are, 70 Pontiac Bonneville. Uh, owned by Arthur Broke from Lisbon. Nice, nice big Bonneville. Isn't that a beautiful car? That used to be the standard back in the 70s. That's the size we all drove. Okay, now coming up next, a 1986 Porsche 944. David Kennett from Littleton owns this one. We have a lot of nice cars here in Littleton. And here's another rare car. A 69 Buick Sport Wagon. Michael Franconi from Long Island, New York. Boy, thanks for bringing that up from Long Island. That's a beautiful car. Is that a Vista Cruiser? I think it is. And sports Fort Wagon, okay. And here's David Linda Eastman from Bath with their 37 Ford Street Rod. Nice, Dave does, a, does all this work himself. Dave builds those cars in his garage. 
Phil Bell from up in Bethlehem. We all know Phil Bell. This is one of his great cars, a 72 Ford Grand Torino. Grand Torino. And here's a Ford Torino Cobra, another great car, Rick Maker from Littleton. Here's another Rick Maker car, a 69 Mustang Cobra. And here comes a 1968 Buick LeSabre convertible owned by Bobby Davenport from Bristol, Connecticut. Boy, what a great day for convertibles today. Tomorrow will be too. 78 Pontiac Trans Am, Paul and Deb Lehman from Littleton. Now, yeah, here's a rare vehicle, look at this. This coming up next, a 1969 Chevy with a 36 cab owned by Joel White from Dalton. Now, there's a lot of work to build and maintain a vehicle like this. Yeah, great job, man. That's one. <laughs> you know that's not the original six-cylinder motor in that one. And here's from Berlin. There's a 1972 Plymouth Valiant Scamp owned by Joanne Ross and Trevor Dubay. Next we have a 67 Ford Fairlane owned by Mike Reinhardt from Whitefield. Uh, coming up next, 1956 Ford Victoria. Yeah, I, had one, I owned one of these two. Really nice car. Maurice McDowell from Golden. He has several nice collectible cars. We never know what he's going to bring. Glad to have you here. Next uh, up is a 1965 Mustang. Nice little one of the original Mustangs, Clarissa Cayley from Alfred, Maine. And here is a brand new, to us, an O2 T-Bird, owned by Diane Engel from East Hampton, Connecticut. Here's an 87 Chevy El Camino, Joff and Linda Takis from Wheelock, Vermont. Those are very collectible. Now a 70 Chevelle, owned by Mike Spaulding from Littleton. And an 88 Corvette next, there's a nice red one, Dan Bell from Wheelock, Vermont. And another Corvette coming up. This one's a 73, owned by Barbara Fisher from Littleton. Beautiful. See a 55 Chevy coming up next. Roger Carpenter from Thetford. I go to Thetford every day on my job. Okay, here's a 29 Ford Model A, real nice one, and that's one of the Don Jessman cars from Sugar Hill. I've known that car for uh, 40 years, I think. Yeah. Neil Sweet from Dalton with a 1970 Buick Riviera. Boy, there's a nice car. That was a, one of the high-class standards for the Chevys. We all have big cars like that. Look how big this 54 Chevrolet is. We thought these were a small car. Dan Field from Grantham, New Hampshire. Okay, another Trans Am coming up. Uh, okay, a Frank Profito car from right here in Littleton. This is his 79 Trans Am. Profitos always uh, support our parade very, very uh, faithfully. And here's another Frank Profito car. This is a 68 Firebird 400 convertible. And here's the last Frank Profito car we have in the parade. Here's a 68 Firebird 400. Now a nice Mercedes convertible. A 230 SL Benz owned by Robert Paquette from Concord, Vermont. This is a 1970 Olds Cutlass owned by Kenny Oates from Dalton, New Hampshire. Two-door hot top with a vinyl roof, very nice. Look at the plate on this one, bad hots. Oh, we're on the back side. This is a, this is a, uh, whoops. I lost my car. You're right there, you had it. I had it, okay, number 79. Oh, I had it, okay, here we go. This is a late entry, Frank and Robin Finnoff from Littleton with a 2008 Mustang. We have a new class for uh, muscle cars this year, late model muscle cars. Now we have a nice Jeep here, and this is, uh, this is a, made by Ford, owned by Herb LaHoot in Littleton, what, 1944, right out of, yeah, genuine wartime Jeep, that's a great restoration, wonderful. And uh, here we are with a, uh, this, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah uh, a Corvette, let me read that again. Seventy-four, Chevy Corvette. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's about all the official parade. Okay, we got a Mustang coming. Bring him along. Bring him along. Uh, another nice Mustang, yellow Mustang convertible, and uh, that's a '66. Okay, owned by can't quite read the hooks it. Bill Shackford from Hooksit. Okay, thank you very much for coming along. Nice car. Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the parade. You've seen a sampling of the cars you're going to see tomorrow at the show. We hope you come down uh, for the pancake breakfast from uh, 8 to 10 and spend the day there for $3. Where can you see a million dollars worth of cars and a nice show any place else for $3? Come on down and support your local Lions. And uh, thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow.